guys. So today's video is going to be all about my hair care and what I did to kind of get my hair back into a more healthy state than it was, but it's not completely 100% amazing as it used to be. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so this is all gonna be just about my natural hair. I do have extensions in, obviously. Um, but I just did the Wonderful World of Weave video. I'll link it in the bottom bar if you haven't watched it. So this is just gonna be things that I do to my natural hair, um, from, all the way from start to finish. My shampoo of choice is Redken All Soft Shampoo. This shampoo is amazing if you've got kind of dry, brittle hair and it doesn't feel really soft anymore, it's not too shiny, try this shampoo. It will change your life. It's so amazing. When I'm not using Redken All Soft, I like to alternate and use the Macadamia Rejuvenating Shampoo, which just looks like this. To me, I kind of use this um, as like a clarifying shampoo. It's color safe, sulfate free, and sulfate sulfate free and paraben free as well um, if you do look for that so I like to kind of alternate the two in between each other because I don't like my hair to kind of get used to one certain product because you know once your hair gets used to it it kind of like stops performing or if that's an urban legend I don't know but to me it feels that way <laughs> so I like to use this um, in conjunction with it as well so then, this is my holy holy grail of leave-in conditioners, whatever you want to call it, hair mask, whatever, and it's the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen this if you're on YouTube and you're familiar with YouTube and you watch beauty videos. People rave about this stuff and they rave about it for a reason. It's literally amazing. It's like one of the best, best, best repair masks repair mask I've ever used in my whole entire life. When I started using this, I saw a difference in my hair instantly. It was so amazing. It was like transforming my hair every time I wash it in the shower. I don't wash my hair every day. I probably wash my hair three times, three to four times a week. Um, it's not really healthy to wash your hair all the time because you're just stripping the natural oils out of your hair. Um, and so I use this. It says to use it um, once a week, but I would use it every time in the sh I was in the shower because my hair was super, super, super damaged. Um, if you've got relatively healthy hair, I would stick to using this only once a week because if you've got really healthy hair and you try to use like a repairing mask, it's going to just do the opposite and it's not going to repair your hair. It's going to make your hair feel really straw-like because you're putting too much protein into your hair. So if you do have damaged hair, I recommend using this. This is my seriously my everyday conditioner because I don't wash my hair that much. I will just take a combination of these two products. Um, it kind of varies when I use them. Sometimes I use together, sometimes I use them apart, sometimes I use one or the other. I use Redken Anti-Snap, which just looks like this. And this is just a leave-in treatment for distressed hair as well. And then I also use It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product, which just looks like this. I've said a million times what this does. I'll link, I'll write everything in the bottom so I don't have to say it in the video. Um, but these two products are amazing. So as I'm showing you right here, all I'm doing is squirting them both in my hand, mixing them together, and then running them through my entire hair. Then I'm going to let it air dry for a little bit and brush it through. You want to brush through. If you're going to brush your hair wet, you need to brush your hair wet with a wide tooth comb. Don't use a brush. Don't use anything crazy like that. Um, your hair loses elasticity in it when it's wet so you want to make sure you use something like a wide tooth comb so then I will blow dry my hair and my blow dryer of choice is, of course is over here is this one this is from new me I've had this for quite some time now and it's amazing it's one of the best hair dryers I've used I will link everything in the bottom all the information on it because I can't remember it off the top of my head but it is literally amazing I know it's got negative ions that make your hair dry a lot faster and shinier so this is the one that I use again it's by new me it's really heavy. It's one of the heaviest hair dryers I've owned, and that's one thing that I did recall when I first took it out of the box. I was like, oh my god, this is so heavy. I don't want to hold this. You don't really notice it when you're blow drying, and it literally does blow dry like that. So my heat protectant before I straighten my hair is from KQC and it is the Thermal Shine Spray. It just looks like this. I love this stuff. I'm completely out. Hear it? There's nothing in there. I do need to order another one. I cannot be without that stuff. It does make your hair super shiny. And I don't know. It's the best like heat protectant spray that I've ever used. So this is the straightener that I use. It is the KQC Professional Ceramic X Heat. It just looks like this. You guys have seen it in a bunch of my videos. I love this thing. Um, 
if you guys have a chi and you love it but you don't love when you straighten your hair and it kind of gets caught in here and pulls this one does not do that it's super 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 similar to a chi it heats up I think to 410 degrees it is amazing it heats up like super super fast and it leaves your hair like shiny and luxurious and amazing I love 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 the straightener I like to use the Macadamia Natural Oil Healing Oil Spray. This stuff is so amazing. It is super, super similar to the healing oil, which I do have right here. Um, it's just, this is just a lighter form. Like, this is really heavy. This is a really heavy oil to me. I like to use this on my hair extensions, like on the ends and stuff when they're feeling a little dry to me. I take some macadamia oil and kind of just work it all in the ends of my extensions because it's really heavy. So but my natural hair is really thin so that's why I like to use this because it's really just a light like mist spray like it's really really nothing at all so um, if you've got kind of like thinner hair and it's not super thick or coarse and you want to try some kind of oil for your hair I would definitely like, recommend the spray form over the original form People always want to know what color my hair is. Um, it was before, um, back I think in like August, it was ombre, you know, dark roots, light ends. And then um, September is when I dyed it soft black. And I have a bottle, because I buy two boxes at the time, just in case. Um, and I never use this one, but this is what I used the first time that I dyed my hair. It was just the Farrier Midnight Collection um, soft black, I'm pretty sure. Natural soft black is what it was. So that's why I dyed my hair, and I haven't dyed my hair since September. So the color that you guys see, I know it probably looks a little dark right now because the lighting, um, but it is kind of like a super light brown color, and that's just because it's washing out. I haven't colored it since. I'm probably going to go red next. Woo! Um, so yeah, be on the lookout for the red video. And when I say red, I mean red. I don't really have like a hair haircut. Um, I just trim my hair myself when I feel like it needs to be cut. My bangs, they were just a side bang. Now I'm growing them out. So you can see that my bangs are pretty long. People will be like, ah, you need to cut your bangs. No, why would I cut my bangs? <laughs> what the hell? No, I'm not cutting my bangs because I'm trying to grow them out. I've had bangs my entire life and I'm just kind of over them. I do have um, shorter pieces around the top layer of my hair to give it more volume. If I didn't answer one of your questions, please make sure to leave a comment down below and I will try to get back to you. Um, I'll have lots of information in the bottom bar that I probably forgot to mention in this video, so make sure you guys check that out and... Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye! Oh, I'm sitting on my shirt. <clears throat> You're beautiful! No, Bobo. <laughs> <laughs>